It doesn't rain often in Kuwait. But when it does, it's usually in the winter. Otherwise, in the summer, there's sandstorms. <laughs> It's kind of raining pretty hard. It's not really the best weather to go for a nice walk. Wish I had a boat. <laughs> That'd be cool. Do you want to say hi for the people? Hi. All right, so to remove my makeup, I'm using these Annabelle oil-free eye remover pads, which are great. So by my squeaky chair, I'm, I'm fat, so in case you haven't noticed. All right, now I want to talk to you guys about um, Islam. I'm a revert. Um, I took my Shahada last September. Alhamdulillah. Now, one thing I noticed since becoming a revert is... Um, The community can be very judgmental. I used to be Catholic, okay? And as a Catholic Christian, I literally never ever had anyone, even like I was a public figure, right? I never had anyone Christian or Catholic preach to me about the rules of Catholicism and how I'm being a bad Christian or something like that. But now as a revert, I find that the community, the Muslim community online especially, can be very judgmental. I get all the time people coming for me like Islam police, like that's a siren. Anyway, things like the Haram police, you know, saying things like, um, I don't know, just commenting on like makeup. I see it happen to other people too, like, you know, your hijab is not fully covering or this and that. Um, you shouldn't be saying this. You shouldn't be smoking shisha. You know, you should be eating with the left hand. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. Um, so I just want to say, go easy on, on people. Like, not just that. Like, let people observe their religion worship how they want to and like at their own pace i broke his couch are you kidding that's bullshit like or he reinforced his couch i've been there twice okay and this guy sits there on his fat fupa and roll in and plays with his prayer beads like he thinks he's cool and he ugh, anyway so <laughs> he's a roman and a mad turd they're all pathetic losers sweet get out of here anyway so we've been ignoring him because he's a piece of crap friend i said no i said listen whenever you start getting attention online, you're gonna, it's gonna reveal who your friends are. Sure enough. No, 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 that's not the guy at the museum, that's Mohad, who's actually a real friend. He's just a jealous fake shit. Yeah, he's not a real friend. He's like, I guess he like sells things out of a suitcase, that's the only thing he's useful for, selling discount items from his crappy store, that your wife has to work at forever, don't be jealous. Sorry I'm saying that, culturally most men provide for their wives here, except him. So anyways, um, so he got all mad when we went camping and we did a successful vlog and his van was in the background, that's why we had to edit it. He threatened to go to the cops about that because he was mad because Salah gave him shit for asking for my phone number. That's a big fucking no-no. Like, are you kidding? Ah. Uh, he looks like a guy who works at a shawarma shop and calls you boss. <laughs> Hi, Golden. Hi, everybody, by the way. Sorry, let me get this out. When I found this out, I, and Salah was like, you know, we shouldn't give him online attention because this is what he wants. He is willing to just do away with any integrity or any friendship, like a long friendship for what? Because you want internet clout so your wife doesn't have to work anymore? I don't get it. Like this is, anyways, T on his wife, by the way, she gossips all the time, the whole time. And she even talks shit about her husband. She was telling me, she's like a little yappy dog, just like gossiping, gossiping. She was telling me that her husband, Allah, doesn't even, they fight all the time over money because he won't even like give his kids money. He's such a tightwad. Like he won't even send his kids money who live in the Philippines. Like that's just disgusting. He's just a freak. Anyway, also when they were married to save money because he's such a tightwad, he had like what, four black guys living in the house and like he's a cuckold basically doing stuff with his wife is the intent what we're what we're insinuating here like for like imagine like Salah doesn't even want me like didn't even want me living with Pete 
and he had four black guys living with his wife in the same room. They have a small apartment. There was like just a partition. Disgusting, disgusting dogs. Hanzi, Shakamuta, goodbye. Anyway. Um, T-Lex, no, you don't know his wife. His wife is just as complicit, okay? And this guy was disrespecting Salah's wife. So you know what? Yeah, that's the treatment you get. He's living with three black guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, a person who's reverted like a year, year and a half ago, even like a few years ago, is not the same as somebody who's born into it, okay? Um, it's not up to somebody to judge someone because that's between them and Allah. Not, it's not between me and other sisters and brothers. It's up to between me and Allah, okay? Because you know what? Yeah, I still have trouble with a lot of things. Um, music being one of them. You know, it's frowned upon to listen to music in Islam. Well, I'm have, I'm struggling with that part of it. I'm struggling with a lot of things. Makeup, stuff like that. You know, smoking, shisha once in a while. Things that are frowned upon. But that's between me and Allah. And the one thing you have to remember is what makes a Muslim, a, a Kafir, is a non-believer, is somebody who doesn't pray at all, you know, or makes no effort. Um, even that is between that person and Allah. So a person who smokes shisha is still a Muslim in Allah's eyes. A person who wears makeup is still a Muslim. A person who um, drinks even is still a Muslim. I don't drink, but people who smoke weed still a Muslim. You know, maybe lost or off the path, but it's still, but they're still Muslim. And you can't judge somebody's journey, you know, just by watching one of their videos. You don't know what they're struggling with. Um, there's a lot of reverts who haven't even begun to wear the hijab yet. They need to do it when they're comfortable. The most important thing as a new Muslim or as a Muslim is to pray and repent. I'm just tired of like being judged, you know. Um... I'm not perfect, but I do believe in God, and, you know, I love God. I'm just, I sometimes struggle with um, certain aspects of the religion. And that I'm, I'm learning on my own. You know, I'm doing a lot of, like, I do research on it, um, read what it says in the Quran, um, but there's a lot of different things that I still struggle with and I'm still learning on my own. And that's my journey. It's my right to do that. So, you know, before rushing here, the Islam police, I don't need your sirens. Okay. I got this on my own. And I, that, this is addressing like fellow sisters or other reverts, like, you know, who just make like, it's almost a deterrent to the religion from people being so judgmental in that community. You know, it's, it's, it's overwhelming and and so I mean I'm not even addressing my critics on YouTube are not even religious most of them or Muslim and they come for me with the Islam police I don't even care what they say they look like clowns um, they look like clowns judging a Muslim person when they know nothing about it so and they're not even Muslim whatsoever <laughs> so but the fellow sisters are like who get judged, especially reverts, we get judged hard, right? Because, or like laughed at. I feel like we get ridiculed more from the, the Muslim community, especially online. And I've gotten some of that criticism and I've seen a lot of it too. And I myself have been judgmental sometimes, like when I see somebody wearing tight clothing and I'm thinking, that's not how it's supposed to be. But then I like, I catch myself and I think, I don't like being judged. I don't, that's not my journey. I, I'm not the one to judge. I'm not God. I'm not Allah. That's between him and all the other Muslims. You know, that's up to them. Um, people also have different, people also have different ways of interpreting a religion, you know? So me, I just mostly am continuing to read the Quran and learning a lot that way um, about the religion. And I, I realized Maybe I should have done that a lot before actually taking the Shahada. But for me, it was like, they ask you basically, like before reverting, do you believe in 
that there's one God? Yes, I can take that off. I do. Do you believe that um, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his is his messenger and slave? And I do, because personally for me, and don't this is just my belief. Everyone has their own, and you can believe what you want. I believe in the Islam, the the Muslim. I believe in the the. I believe the Muslim belief that Jesus was a prophet and he did perform miracles. Um, given to him by God. But I don't believe that God has a son or had a son. And I don't believe that Jesus was God. So that to me, those two things meant that I could take the Shahada. But beyond that, there's a lot to learn about it. You know and that's what I'm doing after after the fact so um, I'm just saying you know Muslim community just think about that with reverts how it can be overwhelming and you know we have a right to our own journey our own beliefs we don't ha owe anything to anybody we have the right to believe what we want worship how we want show it how we want and if you're doing something that you think is better than another Muslim, good for you. Um, you know, I would say just keep that to yourself and that's between you and Allah. And, you know, it's not like I'm doing anything super immoral or bad. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, Islam is about a relationship between you and, and Allah. That's it. Not, not about, you know, judging other Muslims, you know, so yeah, that's just my thought on the whole community, how it can be a bit judgmental sometimes compared to what I'm used to. And uh, there's some rules that I have a hard time with, I have to say. Um, I know they're in place for um, our own good. So, you know, alhamdulillah. So, you know, inshallah, someday I will get it. But there's some things that I still struggle with. and. I think, um, you know, allow that patience, you know, just like Allah's patient with us as we're learning. So <laughs> I could not, could do the not eating, but the not drinking. It is hard. Yeah. In all honesty, we have all done things in our past. It doesn't define who we are now. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Ava. You have every right to define yourself. Yeah. I mean, I'm not doing it in a super hateful way, lower, lowering myself to their level anymore, you know. That is true. Not very nice to bring up people's past and shame them for it. Exactly. Why do they react to people who are suffering from issues? That's disgusting. Because they're ableist and they think that they're funny. Like they do it for money. Like imagine doing something so immoral just to fatten your pockets. Like do you know how much karma you're going to get returned to you? Like people think they see people like living the good life right now and they think that oh they're just getting you know richer they're just getting more prosperous and it's like yeah that's all gonna come you're all you that's all going to tumble down on you because of the way you earn your money because of the way you live your life a hundred percent it's something special and it's gonna be revealed in due time eat your chicken how you want it Imagine if we judged everyone by their past, we'd all hate each other. Exactly, exactly. But that's a blatant lie. I wasn't praying in the wrong direction. That's mostly what I wanted to prove. I do have an app. How do you guys even know I have, before accusing me, if I don't have an app or not? How, like, you don't know, sh you don't know anything. You don't know ish. You don't know anything at all. Especially about the religion. You Google things to find out. Like, get a life. <laughs> Please. My CPAP? Yeah, no, I just have rosacea. Pretty bad. It's like it's semi dry and rosacea. No makeup. And these are like adults. These are adults. Like, why don't you act your age? Grow up. Like, what are you doing with your time, with your life? It's so sad. That's all they know how to do is bully other people. Yeah, for entertainment. They think, oh, it's just fun, it's entertainment. Um, no, someone's religion is not entertainment. Um, somebody's weight or their body shape is not entertainment. Like, get a life. Like, are you perfect? Is your body shape perfect? Are you, you know, like, 
I don't know. It's just, it is kind of dark, yeah. <laughs> the curtains block out a lot of the sun. What the fuck? No, you know I do not like reaction channels. No helpful. And without even looking at them, that's why I do not. Yeah, yeah, these people, like, how are you going to judge how I look praying? That's so disgusting to make fun of somebody, like, in sujud position when you don't even have a camera and don't show yourself. Are you serious? Like, my, my mind is, like, blown. I can't. I don't know how YouTube platforms these people, but I continue every day to report them. Hopefully, inshallah, they will do something about it. And I'm honestly, like, so close to just getting on a plane and going to sue the crap out of you-know-who. Like, I'm serious, I'm done. I see all these law, you call them lawsuits, but no, there's a lot of online harassment and defamation and making fun of people. If Hussey could win a case against DC when she did way less than you-know-who, um, fake, fake, baked potato, does every single day for years, <laughs> what do you think I would be awarded? Like, seriously, I'm, I'm like, fed up. I want to shut her up for good. I'm not kidding.